इतनी बड़ी खुशी हुई है ताकि मैं कुछ उर्दू बोलना चाहता हूं ओके लेट मी से लाइक दिस लेट मी से लाइक दिस गॉड इज ए होलनेस ही इज नॉट जस्ट ए सिंगुलर सिंगल इंडिविजुअल लाइक वन God is a wholeness because God is present in the mosque in Punjab he hears from a small little cottage in Africa and at the same time when they pray in the parliament house or they pray in a christian church somewhere else in soviet union or wherever God is there God is there Now I agree it is difficult to understand but in one word in one way it's easier to understand that God could allow something of himself in his greatness to become man because listen modern science have now understood in the moment somewhere in Arabia Listen now. In that very moment somewhere in Arabia when there was a child conceived that was going to shake the world and his name would would uh, uh, should become the holy prophet Muhammad in the very moment he was conceived as an invisible little embryo no one could see him see him no one could see on the lady that she was carrying a great prophet but in that invisible little embryo his whole personality was composed with beautiness intelligence ability of leadership in his genetic system in the same way god made that mystery reality that his greatness came into being in a woman in order to god that god should be able to understand us and on our behalf take our sin and die on the cross instead of us now here is something else from the bible it's very exciting to read the old testament If you read the book of Daniel you will find that in the ninth chapter there is a prophecy about a certain day when Messiah will be crucified he will die and that prophecy was given 483 years before it happened and it was 173 days No 173880 days later Jesus was crucified on the cross. I could explain that better. I have a whole book about it. But you see the Bible talked about how Jesus should come. Take our burden of sin and guilt. Die on the cross and he could represent all mankind because the Bible says when God created He did it through Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. I remember Mr. Didat that you have made a little thumb. Actually I feel like blasphemy when I read your book about how you talk about the Holy Spirit in the moment the Holy Spirit came upon Mary. And you say dirty words. and you make gestures in your video like a sexual relationship but let me tell you mr didat the expression in the new testament about how the holy spirit came upon mary is exactly the same explanation as when the holy spirit of god moved upon the earth just before creation these are holy things Now 
I have 25 more minutes, and I'm afraid you'll get tired, but uh, I will have to take you into something very exciting now. <laughs> You see, why? Why did God plan some kind of salvation for human mankind? Well, God wants us to live a happy life. God created us into this world because He wants the best for us. And alongside with the plan for reconciliation and forgiveness and restoration, God gave us ethical values in the Bible. And tonight, I now come to the point in my message where I am afraid some of you have to mobilize character. Don't get angry because Mr. Didat has a very good answer. Now, if you buy a car or you buy a computer and then you want to start riding it, I think you are happy if someone comes to you from those who created that car and give you some explanation how to use the car. And if someone comes to you, you have just bought a new Mercedes or a Volvo. That's much better now. <laughs> Living in Sweden, okay. Now you sit there and you wonder, how will it work? Then someone comes over and say, well, I have a good idea. They talk about filling the car with petrol. That's very expensive in these days. Why not fill it with water? It's much cheaper. Then you say, you fool. You don't, not, you, you can't, you don't, not, you don't know anything about cars. I, I want to talk with someone from Volvo. Can they explain? Yes. And then you get petrol in the car and now you start. And, and Actually, you wanted not to have a car, you wanted to have an airplane, but then someone tells you, let's take the car and, 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 and we drive up on a high mountain and you know it's a powerful engine, and let's fly. And you get high speed and from the mountain top you try flying. <laughs> Very bad advice. The one who gave you that advice does not belong to those who understand cars. Now, talk about women. Of course, it's not a good illustration when I think of my wife. I should not force her like a car. Keep quiet. <laughs> 